the Uproar Festival 2011, Bristow, Virginia. We're here with uh, some friends of the Sky King Burning people. What's happening, friends? Woo! What's going on? Nothing at the moment. <laughs> take a shit. I'm going to go drop the kids off at the pool and watch them swim. Cool. Why don't you show us around backstage? We're going to go back and just act like we belong there. We're going to follow you guys back and give us a tour. What's up? This is Randall from Sky King Burning. I'm Dave from Sky King Burning. And we're uh, here at Upport Festival, Rockstar Energy Drink. Uh, we won Battle of the Bands to be here, so we put a lot of time and effort, blood, sweat, and tears into this place, so we finally made it. We're here. Oh, yeah. You should know. check out our, our tour bus. Sorry. This is our digs right here. How about it? Huh? That's not oh. it here? What? Where's it at, man? Where you at? Where you at? This car, the Mitsubishi? This is our fine tour vehicle right here. here. Uh, How's that? Uh, did you see that? How was that? What's, what's <laughs> going on? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the most comfortable place in the area. Yeah, yeah, it's nice and shady. Yeah, nice shady. Got some equipment. Here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little warm, though. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> so, 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 watch, watch your head there, buddy. So, this is the life of a rock star. Yeah. Here's another one over here, right here. Get this guy. Beep, beep. Hey, what's up? What's going on? We, saw, we were looking for your tour bus. Is that it there? That's uh, uh, in our Not, dreams. That's, right? That's, what that is. that's in our dreams. Yeah. So, this, they, is they so, this, is, so this is pretty much your tour bus right here. Yes. This is it right here. This is where uh, Jeremy sleeps. Jeremy yeah. comes with us. Yeah. 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 Who, who, what are you drinking there? Take buddy? a little rock star. It's actually Woo -hoo. Take a look at what they're doing. Hey, come on, man. Come here. Ah. Check this shit out. There's some goddamn cases. In case you're wondering, oh, we get it in. Man, that's the good shit. We okay. can sell that. Oh, yeah. You guys <laughs> want more? You guys want more? Got Ooh. that milk. Take a, pick a flavor. It's cuz. Just cuz. <laughs> oh, zero ah. sugar. It's for the fags. You gotta drink that picky. That shit'll still hit you up, man. I've had two of them. I'm just like, oh. Woo! Fuck, fuck. Come on, let's go. Right. Come on a little bit back here. Let's right, go. Cool. Boop, boop. Got it all shake. Okay. David, you ready? Oh man. Thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you. This is where we uh, load up, take all the shit. Looks like Randall's gonna go ahead and set up his drums now. Yes, my youngster. What the hell's going on, man? What is happening here? I mean, what is happening? That's all. Uh, I don't know. My balls itch. <laughs> isn't it, isn't know, this the same know. stage that he Hell Yeah played on last year? Hell, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. There's Cody. Cody the guy. Cody the guy. He's <laughs> right. He's uh, I don't know. I don't know. Who is he? Cody. Cody. What is, what is your What is your profession? So his profession is uh, looking, looking good for all the women to make sure they make out with me. Oh, you go. Is that good? Yeah. What's he getting? Her? What's he getting? John, ah. get your little boy out of here. Ah. Yeah. This stuff's already up here. Right. Boom. <laughs> what? What's up? Get on the rim. I'm saying it's damn And I wait to see all of this. All of this. Big ass are filled with people. Ah. Uh, here they are, getting everything set up, getting ready for their set. It's about uh, a little bit after one.
Jordan from Longboard Valley. Come see us over at that blue tent. Sitting here with the guys from Sky Came Burning. Guys, why don't you tell me a little bit about the formation of the band? Formation. formation. Well, uh, pretty much uh, it started with uh, you. Well, it was no, it was you and I actually. Yeah. And Carrie and Ben. Then there's this other two guys, the guitarist and a bassist. And it was me and him started going over to their house and jamming with them for a bit, and came over here and we needed another guitar player and. Put an ad on Baltimore bands. Jeff and, found us. And, and God said, "Let there be light." Mm -hmm. and, and then that's how Sky came burning form. <laughs> <laughs> and then we found Sonic, <laughs> the Hedgehog. <laughs> and then we lost your y'all. I wasn't even in the band yet. Y'all lost the bassist. Carrie left. Yeah. Carrie. And then we you 
brought Jeremy in mm -hmm. or asked him to see if he wanted to play and then he came and then I came as soon as he started playing. Yeah, you both, you both uh, our start, first show was together at Bourbon yeah. Street. Yeah. The ballroom. Yep. Wow. Played. Yeah. Was that yeah. the Benitez? Yeah. No. No, 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 fuck me. Get me. But yeah, so, yeah, it's about it. That's for me. A couple, couple, couple of members later, here we are. Yeah. Sweet. Tell me, what is Sky King Burning? We are a metal, old school metal, metal core kind of put together type of deal. We are trying to bring back some old roots, but have new, new school shit in it. Right, but it seems to me like there's a common concept, idea, thought, or something that makes up what the band is in its lyrics. Lyrics, um, lyrics for me personally, when I when I write and we put stuff together to them. I like to have hitting meetings because the thing is, it's very easy just to come out and be like, oh, I'm blandly just going to, you know, talk about this, right? Why, why are you staring at me like that, you <laughs> bastard? <laughs> so, I'm sorry. It's hard to be interrupted by a dick. It's all just about overcoming things, all that, you know. We talk about a lot of our own problems that we've done, you know, like I once fought Chuck Norris. That's like talking about Chuck Norris is a hard thing in your life that you have to overcome. And when you overcome it, it's like kind of saying you fought Chuck Norris because he's impossible to be clearly, you know, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> clearly. <dude. laughs> what about some of the other song titles? Um, well, Man of My Word is pretty much straightforward. You know, I'm a man of my word. I say whatever I'm going to say, I'm going to do it. Therefore, you know, I'm not backing down from anything. If I say I'm going to do something, I damn do it. God damn it. Damn do it. And then How We Live is uh, it's the last song in our Pretty much last EP. It's a self-explanatory. Uh, we just talk about how we live our lives, you know. We're right. not going to let anyone in a suit and tie tell us how to live our life. We're just going to do it our way. Pretty much. Yeah. And then self titled <laughs> Sky Came Burning is pretty much the whole band. It's pretty much about how we've came together, what we've done, what we've overcome, you know, how we've grown together, and, you know, Pretty much just telling you how we are and what we do for people. <laughs> <laughs> grab you. I'll touch you. Dude, get off me. <laughs> so, how, how long has the band actually been together in this formation? Two years in June. Two no, years. This, this, formation. No. this formation? This formation? Like, oh, maybe this year. formation. Probably uh, a year. A year. A little bit of a half. year. year and a half. Since no, last, year. last April was that Bourbon Street show with yeah. you two. So. Yeah. About a year and a half. I started about almost. two months before that. <laughs> yeah. <right>. <laughs> <laughs> So it's been about a year since I used to see Jeff every Monday down at Bourbon Street passing out the CDs. I'm like, who is this guy with this stack of CDs down there? It's like, you like metal? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dealing out the rations. Just fucking. Uh, first it was like we would just go there and be like all about pass out. we got to get flyers, got to get CDs, pass them out. And then it was like, hey, let's uh, pass out five CDs. And now I'm hammered. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a time in the night that, you know, it was usually between the first and second band where we'd have to get it all out because then we'd get too drunk to even talk to people anymore. <laughs> and it's so hard because it's like it's open bar for an hour. And yeah. it's just like you got a double fist the whole time. <laughs> how am I gonna hold my CDs? <laughs> I make a competition about that though. I see how many beers I can actually pound in that free hour. I'm, I'm up to ten. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it hits you like a Phew, man. I had a I had a stack of CDs in my hand one time, and I left it right in the bar and just started walking around. Those were the CDs. I was like, I was like, oh, they're downstairs. <laughs> Oh. Tell me a little bit about uh, some of your influences. We'll start with you and work our way around. Influences for me, like, all the way back. I mean, I grew up on, believe it or not, country and old school metal. I grew up on, like, Judas Priest, 38 Special, Leonard Skinner, you know, ACDC. Um, bands right now that have influenced me, probably Parkway Drive, Kill Switch, um, Old It Dies Today. Absolutely. Say, old It Dies yeah. Today. Fuck yeah. Um, probably, um, those are probably the main influences of so far in our music and as I lay dying of course so cool. that's pretty much it for me hold that thought okay Randall alright uh, me and Chris and David actually have all listened to pretty much the same type of music since we've met each other um, me personally as a drummer I'd have to say Chris Adler in the, back in the early days when I first started yes. um, I used to play the Lamb of God all the time that's all I would play honestly and Mudvayne, and Mudvayne. yeah I gotta <laughs> throw that in there too good old vein but uh as of right now I'd say one of the drummers I'm stuck on is uh Adam Gray from Texas in July and uh Matt Greiner from August Burns Red yeah that's about it 
Cool. Um, my background's much more in punk and hardcore and stuff, so kind of uh, didn't really know any of the music they listened to when I joined the band. So it's kind of <laughs> weird, but it kind of works out too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Throws it his little. Get out of here. <laughs> this whole different mix and edge to the band is what it is. Yeah, uh, I'm more of like the old, older school, like 80s type stuff. That's, you know, what I listen to, even still today. I mainly listen to that kind of stuff. Old, like Scorpions and ACDC and that Metallica. Journey. I think Journey. I love Journey. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Katy Perry. Katy Perry. I love Adele. <laughs> Firework! And it's like I listen, I, I listen to like a lot of pop stuff like Adele and stuff like that because the melody lines that they use are incredible and it's good for writing, you know, you can use those kinds of melodies in any form of music, you know. So when I go to write it, solos even, you know, you can listen to their melody lines and derive something from it. So, but like just guitar wise, like I think Gus G is the greatest guitar player of all time. I, that's He's the shit to me. But uh, he plays with Oz, Ozzy and he plays with Firewind. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Is that it? Yep. No, you, buddy. Ah, uh, shoot, influences. Um, bleeding through, <coughs> probably uh, for the fallen dreams. Uh, old to death today, stuff like that. It's definitely more influence. You can hear it in my music, in our music, by my voice. Um, stuff I'm really get into now is uh, volumes, elitist uh, structures, stuff like that. More offbeat stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, that's about it. Cool. So you guys recently won the opportunity to be on the Uproar Tour. Tell me a little bit about the experience itself. You don't really got to break down how you got there. It's obvious it was the pure well, talent. We're gonna, we're gonna start, we'll, st we'll start off with, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Oh, my God. Yeah. I've never seen so much fine... There were so many gorgeous women there. I'll start off with that because, <laughs> God damn it, that's what I was looking at, sir. <laughs> Fuck the rock. Look at the rock star actual energy drinks. I was oh looking at the God. women there. <laughs> it's the only thing that made me not nervous, to be honest with you. So, uh, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> uh, really? yeah, it was it was a phenomenal experience. Uh, just kind of nerve wracking though, because they gave us so many Rockstar energy drinks. That it was just <laughs> they gave three cases. Three cases. Of <laughs> I've never been so hyper taking a shit yeah. my whole life. <laughs> 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 I can't stop moving my legs. So we were just pounding those, and then just seeing like. At first, you know, I was kind of skeptical if all the people were going to come to the Best Buy stage at first, and the guy, the sound the stage manager was like, here come the people, and he pointed over, and I looked, and, and like, right by the fence, there was, like, a line. I was, like, ten people wide, and it was just infinite, just coming in, and I was just like, oh, my God, dude, this is it. Like, that's when I started, I was like, I'm going to throw up. Like, <laughs> it was ridiculous. Yeah, we're, it's the, the best experience we've had so far, and the, the, the little bit of that we've been playing in, in this band or whatever, and we're just extremely grateful just that they gave us a chance. And and the voting the voting system was a, a little bit better this year when uh, they you have to get votes in order to be in uh, the running for it. But then they actually listen to your music, and that was something that you know we were really grateful that they did that. They actually take the time to listen and, and pick out the bands that actually sounded the best, and not who can sit at their computer the longest and get the most votes. You know, because that's it's not what that's about. So. Um, everybody there was cool, really cool to us, Absolutely. you know, the, the stage people were really easy to work with, and it was... The sound was great. And we got yeah. to the sound was amazing. Yeah, we got the chance and the privilege to hang out with a little bit of Seven Dust. That was incredible. I don't know if incredible. you know, small band, been around for a little bit, but a little small band called Seven Dust. Gave us a Dust. shout out during their <laughs> yeah. set. Yeah. <laughs> Lejean is the most genuine dude I've ever met. As far as he's the southern gentleman, uh, we're all looking for him, like, where's Lejean? And like, they'll be like, oh. There's LeJean. I'm like, that's not LeJean. They were messing with me the whole time because he's one of my influences. Cool. Um, so pretty much tonight, about 8.30, 9 o'clock, you guys will be named as the Band of the Month for 98 Rock and Shockwave Magazine's Band of the Month. Awesome. Thank you. Man. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Hey, man. You guys did all the work. We're just loving you, like I say. <laughs> we love you. We love you, Vince. No, we love you. <laughs> you went to that camera cuts off. We, the we, we love you long time. <laughs> So, so um, you keep filming me. We might have a movie going. What <laughs> <laughs> well, a real movie. Pam Anderson ain't got shit. <laughs> All right, cool. So, uh, Jim, what the fuck do you do from here? Where do you go from here? Wherever the road takes us. 
<laughs> Wherever the road takes us. Follow the yellow brick road. We're just yeah. trying to play as many shows as we can. Get out there as We're much as we can. We're trying to get out of state as much yeah. as we can. You know, we it's, love playing in the area. Yeah, but, yeah. You know. It seems like every time we try and get a tour and we get something together, something happens and we can't do it. The, like the last hurricane. tour, the, the hurricane got... <laughs> They that fucked us, and we we had uh, shows lined up in Philly and and uh, Jersey and uh, Baltimore, which it was still ridiculous. But um, and then the one before that, I don't even remember what happened. Oh, uh, a band's dropped off the bill, and so we had to get cancel it. It was it's just a mess. But hopefully, it gets better in the future. So you know, yeah. shit happens basically. I would love to travel the East Coast. That would be just awesome. So, did you get LeJohn's phone number so you can... So you, or no, we gave him a CD and a shirt. Cool. We gave, uh, yeah, Morgan, Morgan, their drummer, came out, and we gave him T-shirts and C. He was like, where's my CD? I was like, dude, there's like three on the bus. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was badass, man. Got all of them to sign my tits and... <laughs> yeah, that's that's huh? Oh yeah. I was there. No, you weren't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just want to be a part of that experience. Fuck. <laughs> Could play along with it for film. <laughs> cool. All right, that's about it, gentlemen.